Hi everyone. I'm here with a quick share today of ideas on how to use buttons. Anyone who has watched uh, my YouTube channel or knows my work knows that I love buttons. Um, when we go past antique stores, I have COG stop and go in and we check to see if they have any uh, jars of antique buttons, which they frequently do. And I've got quite a collection. The only way, it started out as a joke that I needed to use buttons so I could justify buying more buttons and it, it just snowballed from there. So I'm here today to show you 10 ways you can use buttons in making your junk journals and a few other fun things. Um, when I buy buttons, I divide them by set or color into mason jars. These great tops so I can keep them somewhat sorted and they're, they're easy to grab for different projects. Uh, the first way I like to use buttons is on button cards, which are a wonderful embellishment. You can make a button card out of any kind of cardstock or on any kind of image. I've just pre-printed a few and, and cut them out and I like to put little ribbons or this or that on it. So button cards is the first idea. The second is I like to put them on covers. Uh, almost, almost all of my covers uh, that I make for journals have button embellishments on them. The third idea is to use them on the paper tabs that go on the edges of pages. So I have on my planner various color buttons on the tabs. The next way, and I love this, is to uh, sew them right onto a ribbon that you can attach to anything, anywhere. And uh, so you don't need a, a flat surface or cover or piece of material or lace. You can actually just sew them right onto the ribbon and, and use them any which way. And by the way, these are my, uh, this is a, what I call a gojo, a to-go journal, a small journal with no embellishments on the outside, so it's easy to take with you on the go. And uh, this is what my next to, uh, course is going to be on, is making these to-go journals, these gojos. The next idea is to put buttons on a little piece of lace and put this on as a tab on the side of our journals. Fabulous buttons from Italy that Amelia sent me. I love those. The next idea is to take a simple postcard or small printable and, and embellish it to put a pocket on, to put in a pocket, any number of ways to clip on, so on a postcard. The next idea is to put them on tags, and these are some fabulous tags that I got from Wendy Thompson, thank you dear, and she put buttons on layered cheesecloth and lace. Fabulous embellishment for tags. The next way to use them is to put them on sari silk or muslin. This is a Wendy Connors Beckett um, beautiful journal and she put buttons right on on these uh, lovely layered Rumples. I still cannot. I have tried and try. somebody's got to sit down and show me how to how to sew these folds <laughs> into the muslin or sari silk. But that's another way to use them in journal making. Uh, the next idea is to turn them into charms. You can take buttons and put them on jump rings or even run wire through them and attach them to lace. You can attach them to dangles and they just make the neatest little charm. Another way to use them is to use it as a button for a closure. This is a gorgeous Christmas journal that I just got from Ellen Weisenhofer and uh, she does beautiful work. I will put the links to these gals' shops 
below the video in the description box so that uh, you know how to find them. A couple other quick button ideas. Um, we do a lot of gardening up here on the mountain and every year I get a six pack of these plain old, they call them jersey gloves. It's just a knit and what I do is I take these and I cut the fingers out of them and uh, and then I sew buttons on them because even if I'm out getting grungy in the garden um, it makes me happy to have pretty buttons on my garden gloves. I think, oh there is one more. Uh, using buttons on embroidery or crazy quilting that you might do on covers or embellishments. This is actually on a bag. Uh, it was a black vinyl bag that I covered with Tim Holtz fabric and I did a lot of stitching on it, but I've incorporated buttons into this edging down here and, and on the patchwork on the other side. So those are my my button ideas. Um, briefly, where I get buttons, a lot of people ask where I get the small color coordinated buttons and uh, I keep them in jars. I kind of separate them. Right now they've got these on Amazon and I will I will link these below. Um, I used to buy them in things called color wheels at Joanne Fabrics and they seem to discontinue them and bring them back. I'm not sure if you can find them. They're all the same size button, the, these little ones, uh, and you can get different sets of them and then coordinate the blues or the pinks or the greens or, or uh, you might like to do a more random thing, but I will put the link to these if you're interested um, below, below the video. So that is my uh, that is my button thing. Um, when I one of these days I will do a tour of my craft room and I'll I'll show you my button shelf. It's it, it's gotten a little out of hand. I'm going to need to make a lot of journals to use the these buttons. It, it's never going to happen, but they're fabulous. And there's always treasures or things you look at and you think I'm never going to use that and, and then you just find the perfect project for it. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.